Namibia has in fact introduced a 25% withholding tax on payments to non-residents of management, consulting, entertainment and directors' fees. This is expected to place an increasing tax burden on multinational companies who provide business consulting and management services to Namibian entities. So of course that has implications for South African businesses in Namibia. Let's delve into this with a core Crime Winkle, Associate Director of uh, International Tax at PwC. Thank you so much for joining us. Pleasure. So let's just uh, talk about the tax environment in Namibia in general right now. I mean, how open are they to uh, welcoming businesses and creating that uh, kind of, uh, you know, good tax environment? Namibia is, is uh, as a whole trying to be more uh, tax friendly. However, the, the management fee is a, uh, a point that actually goes across uh, that theme in that and Namibia has now introduced this rate that is significantly higher than any of its, of its neighboring countries. So mm -hmm. this is likely to rather discourage than encourage investment in Namibia. I mean, this would affect a company like Deloitte. Absolutely. Um, however, depending on from which jurisdiction you would be providing your management fees, uh, your management services or consultant services, uh, you do have the opportunity to rely on double taxation agreement relief. So it is possible to reduce that rate. But what of, as our bigger concern is perhaps uh, multinationals coming from the US, coming from Australia, uh, the big mining houses, those type of uh, in entities. So, I mean, just looking at those double tax agreements uh, with South Africa, France, Botswana, Germany, India, Malaysia, Mauritius, Romania, Russia, Sweden, and UK. And as you say, Australia is not on that list. Yes. And there are a few, and also Asian, Asian uh, you know, countries that are doing business, especially in the mining sector. Yes. I was earlier speaking to a company that, that is owned by Taurus, which is Hong Kong listed. Exactly. So is this a big concern for, for companies that uh, are multinational companies doing business there? I think... Perhaps not a big, a big concern, but a relative concern in that uh, what would happen is that these higher taxes would ultimately increase the cost of, uh, of doing business and, uh, and hence would uh, influence the choice, should I be investing in Namibia, should I be investing in perhaps uh, Angola. Mm -hmm. But even the countries that uh, the double tax agreements, where the double tax agreements are in place, uh, there's also caveats to that. I mean, if you set up a permanent establishment, so that's the, you know, could. In, in Namibia, uh, then you could be forced to pay withholding tax, even if there's a DTA in place. Absolutely. It brings, it brings new rules and res more restrictive rules to the playing field. So mm -hmm. where in the past management services, management fees were not a concern uh, as far as taxation is concerned, now you've got to evaluate, do I have a taxable presence in Namibia? Do I qualify? for double taxation relief and if so what administrative formalities do I need to comply with. Let's talk about corporate tax and corporate tax rates relative to other countries like South Africa for example. Where is the corporate tax rate sitting now? Namibia is very similar to South Africa as, as, as far as that is concerned. However South Africa for example does not levy uh, as wide a definition defined in management services as, uh, as Namibia would do. Um, so uh, it, it appears uh, strange that Namibia would choose to impose such a high rate and such a broad definition where its, its neighbours clearly does not. And communication with uh, the authorities in, in Namibia, I mean, what's the rationale behind this decision to, of course, it's almost double the mm. South Africa's, or pretty much around double yeah, South Africa's. almost double the South African rate. rate. Um, uh, hard to say. Uh, management fees are sometimes viewed by uh, revenue authorities as a method of extracting profits from the country um, in, a, in a way that is perhaps not beneficial to the country. But if you consider that a withholding tax is a fee on a gross basis, that a 25 margin on something like a management fee uh, is unlikely to be commonly seen. So uh, it is perhaps in principle not a problem, but rather the rate that is a concern. That being said, what are your thoughts on a business in Namibia right now and South African businesses? I mean, are you, do you have a lot of clients that are looking to get into, into the economy mm. either through the mining sector, oil and gas prospects there? Yes. Uh, myself sitting at the International Tax Desk in Johannesburg, uh, we do have uh, quite a lot of dealings with Namibia. We see quite a lot of interest, especially from US, Australia type uh, groups, uh, the Far East, wanting to invest in Southern Africa mm -hmm. in particular. And then Namibia is of late becoming ever more popular mm -hmm. so uh, yes it is something we see um, the Which message is specifically or does mining it broad mining mining is, is, is one of the, the, the factors but uh, I won't restrict it to a specific center whether it be uh, logistics um, uh, or uh, any of those type of industries we, we see a increased interest in investments in Namibia and what is your sense as to what go how government views taxation of the mining sector right now and they uh, ultimately wanting to make sure that the the country also benefits from the minerals uh, in, in the kind of 
either offshore mm. or in the actual uh, underground. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and uh, I think governments or is perhaps being overly restrictive at the moment on, on the taxation. I don't think the mines are uh, as comfortable as they were in the past. So um, I think perhaps more consultation on these type of rates are unnecessary.